Album artwork. Whether it's on your phone as you're listening to music using Spotify, a physical album that's sitting in your room, or billboard advertisements, we see album artwork everywhere. To start, let's consider when album art was debatably most prominent. CD and vinyl sales were massive by the end of the 90s, with 1999 being the greatest year for record sales ever, following an outstanding year of CD sales in year 2000. So what catches our attention when we're surrounded by thousands of different albums yet to be discovered? My answer would be through the title and attractiveness of the actual art. From the doggy style cover to Illmatic, these covers screamed to what their respective albums were all about. Back to the decline of album sales. Within the industry, a soon to be called mogul called LimeWire came into play. You know, that program that put every single Eminem song into the tips of my adolescent fingers with the click of a button. I can finally listen to any album I want to without putting half my $20 net worth towards a CD. Regardless of LimeWire's impact on album sales, this is not really what I wanted to focus on in this video. With LimeWire, album art would be seen as the beginning to a downfall at this point. But when I think about it in retrospective, album art actually had a meaning to me for once. Although I couldn't label my entire library, you bet your ass my favorite songs would be customized with low quality scanned album pictures from Google Images. Although album art began to lose its meaning, users integrated customization into ensuring their albums were complete with their own beloved album art. Now over a decade later, I'm two years deep into my Spotify account with thousands of saved songs within my library, with another million at my fingertips of course. Now I'd even go as far as saying that this art has a greater importance than ever before. I'd say this because how else would we differentiate between so many of these options? Although some artists have been seen to put less effort within their covers, many still flourish greater than ever before. An artist that speaks to me the most about this is Kendra Kumar. With the famous van that we can all visualize within the album being displayed on the Good Kid Mad City cover, all the way to Untitled Unmastered, a monotone cover that let the music speak for itself rather than the normally coveted track names and cover to speak for the album. Same goes with Kanye considering that his first three albums were education themed, where he added the infamous dropout bear on each of those covers. In most recent times we can see this with an artist called Sam Spratt. Sam Spratt is a painter who painted covers for Janelle Monae, Ty Dolla Sign, Childish Gambino, and Logic's last few albums bringing an entire new meaning to album artwork by physically painting hyper-realistic portraits of the artist's lyrical vision. Personally, my love for album art is something that I will always hold close to my interests. My obsession has flooded into my vinyl collection and collecting a piece of history with each edition of my favorite albums. I think that album art holds an importance to anybody that can appreciate music and does so regularly. I hope this video sparks some sort of recognition into your own love for cover art and how it influences your choosing of music among millions of options. I wanted to end this with saying thank you for tuning into my very first video, and let me know down below if you believe that album art still holds an influential meaning. I really hope that you guys enjoyed, and until next time.